Greetings esteemed viewers. Today we invite you to join us in another vegan cooking class with instructor Amy Mehta on vegetarianism, the noble way of living. A lifelong vegetarian, Amy specializes in teaching vegetarian dishes of multinational cuisines. She believes that cooking is an art and puts careful consideration into the small details of presentation, the colors of the food, the occasion, and the people who will eventually enjoy the dish. Amy calls herself a new wave vegetarian chef who brings a warm and homely feel to her cooking. Additionally, her recipes are unique in that they do not use any onion or garlic Let's see what Amy has planned for us today in our two-part special. Hi, good afternoon friends. Um, welcome to Ami's Veggie Heart. I am into vegetarian cooking and I'm going to show you some wonderful starters today. So we are going to learn four items today like Indian money bags, typically called kachori in um, the Guju side and Gujaratis call them kachoris and it comes from the state of Gujarat in India. We have alu tikki which generally would yes come from up north from the Delhi side, Punjab side but we also have it in the Guju style. It's all different wherever we make it each one makes it to its own taste, its own palate and we're going to try and do that today. And we also have samosas today which is so famous everywhere and we're going to learn two types of samosas today. One is a potato and green pea filling and the other one is a little different and it's called lentil samosas or mung dal samosas. So let's start and have a nice uh, journey through the uh, beautiful cooking class on starting the starters galore with us today. Yep, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we'll start with the kachori first, that is the Indian um, Indian money bags, right? Now for that we are going to use green peas, green chilies, grated ginger, coriander, mint, sesame seeds, the powder of two cloves and half an inch of cinnamon stick, garam masala, sugar, lemon juice, esophotida, oil and salt to taste. This is going to be the inside filling. For the stuffing we are going to use using the food processor we can crush the green we can crush the green chilies coarsely first. I have done the green peas coarsely. You can use any cooking oil. I generally use light soy oil. And I'm going to be putting this in the oil. Only reason to put it because the peas are half cooked. So we don't want that uncooked taste or any smell. So all that goes away. I'm going to add in some esophotida. The reason to add asophotida is so that you don't get gas in the stomach, it doesn't upset your stomach. And I'm going to put in some ginger also. And I'm going to put in some green chilies. If you do like garam masala, what is garam masala? It is a blend of all the spices like cloves, cinnamon, pepper and cardamom. You also can have nutmeg and star anise seeds. What we'll be using is, um, we'll only be using cloves and cinnamon. That's it. So I'll just be putting a pinch of that. The reason not to put salt from the beginning in this is also that it changes the color the nice beautiful green you see beautiful green mm -hmm. if you put it from the beginning it becomes a bit dull mm -hmm. and or more like a pale green I'm also going to be putting in some um, sesame seeds and now I know my thing is almost done I'm going to put in my salt it depends on how much you want so I'm not going to uh, write that quantity this particular mixture either you can use it with this 
stuffing or you can even make it as stuffed chapatis. You can put it in between two breads and have that just toast it on two sides and have that as ketchup for breakfast or on the go. Lemon also we'll add in. I'm going to stir it up. Now let's add in the coriander. It's freshly cut coriander. So we'll just add in that. And for the taste aroma, we'll add in mint. It's chopped already. Right? So this is one thing which is ready. Okay. Now for the aloo tiki. Mash the potatoes, three boiled potatoes, one green chili, one green chili fin finely chopped, half a piece grated ginger, mint leaves, coriander, breadcrumbs to put it inside, basically oil for shallow frying and salt to taste. So we are going to first take the potatoes and mash them and let us peel the potatoes. These potatoes are also boiled. We are not going to really deep fry them, but if you want to shallow fry, what I've done is when it was a bit warm, when I boiled it, I just put in some of cream of tartar. So I've used this cream of tartar. So it, the consistency remains the same. I'm going to mash them. And I'm going to mash them and not be very coarse about it. And I'm going to add in all the ingredients. Green chilies. Salt. I'm going to put in ginger. <coughs> Mint leaves. Coriander. And now I'm going to add in my breadcrumbs in this. The reason to add it so that it also remains crisp and it holds itself together. It doesn't become very oily or very soggy. Here is this mixture. It's not too coarse. It's not too fine. It's just right. You can still make it a bit smoother if you want. I'm going to take a little oil in the middle of my palms. I'm going to take it like that. I'm just going to make a small ball the size of a small lemon. I'm going to make a ball. Then I'm going to do it. I'm going to flatten it like that. That's it. And that's how we are going to proceed on with all. Make a ball first. And then in between your palms, just flatten it a little. That's it. And we'd like it all the same. You can even deep fry this. Also, it tastes excellent. And because we are too health conscious these days, we would rather shallow fry it into the oil. So for that, I have some breadcrumbs. I have some more inside. We can just take this and roll it a bit inside. I'll get the others done inside and we'll proceed on with the next one in the meantime. Now let's do with the samosas. The second item if you see the dal and lentil filling. Okay. Now dal you can use any dal. You can either use a gram flour, gram dal or the yellow moong dal. So this is what happens after you soak it for 3 or 4 hours. It's only soaked but I've not yet steamed it. You can steam it into the microwave. Or do it in the cooker, but don't put the whistle. Okay. Right? And if you put it in the cooker, you don't need water. But if you put it into the microwave, you do need a little water because it's going to evaporate and you don't want it shrunk and you don't want it hard. So I've kept a little bit of water mm -hmm. as you can see here. Yeah. Mm, and I'm going to steam it up and come back to you. The next one is the samosa, a different variety, a different style altogether. And this is a potato and green pea filling. Hmm? Two potatoes cut in cubes, green peas boiled, 
एंड ओ वन ग्रीन चिली फाइनली चॉप जिंजर ग्रेटेड गरम मसाला कॉरिएंडर ओ मिंट एसोफटीरा सॉल्ट एंड इन दिस वॉश एंड ड्रेन आउट द वॉटर फ्रॉम द पटेटोज डीप फ्राइड विल गोल्डन ब्राउन The reason for doing it in this way is because if you boil the potato and if you made it in the morning and you want to eat it in the evening, it may get spoiled sometimes. Not always, but if the weather is hot and humid, chances are it'll get uh, spoiled by afternoon or early evening. So what you do to prevent that? Another thing, you can cut them and then deep fry it. There's no water content, and that is the reason it will stay for a longer time as compared to the boiled potato samosas. So you fry it like this. Mm -hmm. Instead of adding lemon, what I have done is I have added a cream of tartar a bit. You don't need so much. Cream of tartar is quite um, sour by itself. A pinch is good enough. I'm going to take this bowl. I'm going to take some potato, some green peas. You can make it either with green peas and or without the green peas. Doesn't matter. You can use uh, potatoes like this, green peas. If you want to make vegetable samosas, not a problem. Just add in some uh, carrots. Cabbage will become too soggy. Mm -hmm. But if you add in carrots, if you just grate them a little bit or cut the very small and fine pieces, it'll even look very colorful, white, green, and orange. Mm -hmm. So just add in some green peas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash them, and I'm going to add in all the ingredients for this: green chili, ginger. Again, we have a bit of garam masala in this. Garam masala is again the typical Indian spices which we have. mint or coriander since we've been putting too much of mint and coriander together in this let's just put mint no coriander and we are again going to put asafoetida in this especially because they are potatoes and we don't want to have gas and or any stomach problems or and last but not the least the salt goes in we can even add in some sugar But that's optional. Mm -hmm. So here, let's try and add in some sugar, so it just makes it a bit different. Just to offset the little sourish taste and let it also be different from the other things which we have made. And I'm going to be mixing this. I'm just going to mash it with the hand. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine if I had an orange carrot, either grated or uh, cut into fine pieces, how colorful it would look. Yes. And if you're going to consume this immediately, you can also put in um, grated coconut, but that is very optional. If you want, you can add in sesame seeds. Optional, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So this is a filling for um, the some uh, potato and pea for the samosas. Thank you for your company for today's vegetarianism, the noble way of living. Join us again Wednesday, August 22nd with Amy's Veggie Heart to learn how to wrap and complete these favorite Indian appetizers. Up next is between master and disciples on Supreme Master Television. Happy veg cooking.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.